Hello everyone, this is Sajal Latif Khan and you are watching my channel Learning for All. And today I am going to talk about that how to teach poetry effectively in your respective classes. Let's talk about aims of poetry. One school of thought believes that poetry cannot be taught. The teacher can only create conditions in which a poem may have its fullest possible significance for the pupils. According to the Reblon, our aims of teaching poetry should be to give pleasure and thus lay the foundation for an adequate appreciation of English poetry which may come later. The study of the poem should be aimed at sharing the feelings of the poet and enjoying the situation experienced by the poet. It should also be aimed at enjoying all appreciating the music given the poem. A key love for the rhythm of the English words should be created. Love for the new language should be inculcated through the appreciation of the beauty of the music. In many countries, the difficulty of language prevents the students from the understanding of poetry. Where there is no understanding, there is no appreciation. Appreciation includes appreciation of the subject matter or the emotional experience of the poet. Appreciation of imagery representing that experience. Appreciation of music which expresses the experience. The teaching of poetry has its cultural ends. It cannot serve the purpose of attaining mastery of the language because it is more difficult to flow it than to follow prose. It develops our aesthetic sense and arouses our feelings and trains our emotions. The Society of Teachers of English has given three reasons for the teaching of poetry and those reasons are poetry is a great source of joy and pleasure. It directly makes us aware of sights, sounds and events. It develops aesthetic sense which refines and civilizes our response to life. Like other fine arts, poetry makes appeal to the fundamental parts of the mind. It nourishes our imaginations, widens our outlook and enhances our mental life. Poetry trains our personality without such training as poetry can give our moral judgment remains narrow and secondhand. It creates broad-mindedness to make our social life pleasant. When to begin with the teaching of poetry and this is very important question for all the teachers who are teaching their uh, respective classes, the music of a uh, musical line gives a sense of pleasure and draws the child's interest to the new language. So it is better to start with the nursery rhyme than with the routine sentences. In the beginning, meaning and content should not be given importance. At the early stage, readers should contain easy poems scattered here and there, and these poems should be either descriptive or narrative. A regular textbook of selected poems should be prescribed at the high stage. Let's talk about what are the steps in the teaching of poem. According to some educationists, poetry cannot be taught. The teacher can only create conditions in which the students can feel the significance of the reading of a poem. The language difficulty is a great barrier to an understanding of poetry. Appreciation, which is the basic aim of reading of a poem, is not possible without understanding. And therefore, uh, students must first understand, then enjoy, and lastly, appreciate poetry and no particular method of uh, teaching can be supplied for all kind of poems however the following general steps are involved in teaching of poetry introduction it aims at creating the mood for understanding and appreciation of the poem if the poem is connected with the life of the poet it will require a biography introduction it means that the connection of the poem with the life of the poet should be told to the students analytical introduction requires the gist of the poem in a few sentences synthetically 
introduction is a series of question in order to discuss the main theme of the poem the purpose of introduction is just to lead the students to the poem it must not take the place of the poem it should be as brief and to the point as possible a detailed discussion would destroy the sense of introduction and the next stage comes the reading of the poem the introduction is followed by the reading of the poem it will be done in two steps model reading by the teacher and reading by the students the teacher should read the poem loudly with proper expressions showing the sentiments and feeling of the poet a proper model reading will create love in students for the poem reading by the students the teacher should ask the students to recite the poem imitating his tone the pupils should avoid gestures while reciting the poem now let's see what is intensive reading of the poem reading should be followed by the explanation of the language difficulties it should be done stanza by stanza after explanation one stanza the teacher should put questions to the students to test their comprehension the teacher should not go in detail otherwise the purpose of the poetry teaching will be destroyed he should try to make the pupils understand the shift of thought the beauty of smiles metaphor images and other pictorial qualities of the poem after explanation he should ask the students to paraphrase the lines if the students fails to do that the teacher himself may do the students should also be asked to give the gist of the poem and number 4 step is rereading of poem the teacher should read all the stanza of the poem after he has explained it difficult expressions then the bright students of the class should be given chance to recite it so that they may set good models for others to follow and after that the weak students should be asked to follow the pattern of the bright students and number 5 questions by the students the students should be given an opportunity to ask the questions about the poem and this will create an atmosphere of cooperation between the teacher and the students moreover the trend of questions will reveal whether or not the pupils have comprehended the implications of the poem number 6 recapitulation the teacher should not questions about the poem to the students in order to know whether they have understood all the aspects of the poem this will serve as a test of their comprehension and moreover it will clear certain points which were not clear to the students previously number 7 appreciation all the aspect of the poem like thought experience emotion imagery form are involved in appreciation it is a harmonious whole and comes as a result of the total effect of all the factors on the mind of the reader it requires a standard of judgment and evaluation a training in appreciation refines the taste and heightens the sensibilities of the reader it inculcates the critical faculty in the students for appreciation teacher should discuss the poem on the following points the effect of the poem on the students the poet's object in writing the poem the student's reaction to the poem the means adopted by the poet to get these effects in schools there are certain questions that the students and the teachers have in their mind that why poetry should be taught at all do you feel that explanation of verses in the class kills the spirit of poetry let's find out the answer the aims of teaching poetry to the students are quite different from the aims of teaching prose to them teaching of 
prose aims at making the students capable of learning language and absorbing the information contained in the literature of that language. Teaching of poetry, on the other hand, has no such utilitarian aspect. If working knowledge of the language is the objective, then one should spend one's time in learning prose. Poetry is taught with cultural and in view. It is concerned with imagination and artistic faculties. It purifies human soul and provides pleasure for his intellect. Poetry enriches our emotional life by bringing us into contact with the feelings and inspirations of greater souls. It disciplines our minds and educates our sense of appreciation. It is therefore essential that poetry should be taught with the following objectives. 1. Poetry deals with universal truths which are present in every society and in every part of the world. Such truths helps in creating international understanding and cooperation. All poets admire, sacrifice and look down upon oppression of any kind. Number two, poetry trains our thinking and appeals to the fundamental part of our mind. Its purpose is to aspire and to move. It helps in teaching moral ideas and purifies human spirit. It widens our mental scope and establishes our moral judgment on a wider base. And number four, poetry is a joy in itself. It reveals truth and moves the heart of the reader. The rhythm, music, and idea combines to give a sense of pleasure which the reader finds nowhere else. Let's talk about poetry explanation in the classroom. There is a general misunderstanding among the teachers that explanation of a verse kills its beauty. This point of view is not correct because nothing can be appreciated unless it can be understood. The young minds are incapable of comprehending the ideas contained in a verse unless there is somebody to help them in this connection. The teacher sometimes is in an awkward situation when the students do not follow his viewpoint. This however should not discourage him. Teaching is a kind of flow of ideas from the learner to the mind of a lower capability. The teacher should do his maximum to explain the poetic idea. Explanation does not kill the spirit of poetry and it is purely teacher's responsibility who is capable of making himself clear and understandable to the students. When the students once understand the idea of the poet, they start sharing the appreciation of the teacher. The mental exercise through which a teacher has been passing while teaching the poem now appears pleasing. As soon as students start feeling like the teacher himself, they are in a position to appreciate poetry. Teaching of poetry demands hard work on the part of teacher, but his labor is repaid when he finds the glow of intelligence and appreciation playing on the faces of his students. The teaching of poetry which might have appeared tiresome and boring in the beginning now comes out to be an activity full of joy and pleasure. It is therefore denial of the fact to say that explanation in the class kills the spirit of poetry. Teaching of poetry helps students to learn the basic truths of life to widen their mental scope and share in the feelings of the poet. Difficulties in the poem, however, need explanation without which students cannot appreciate such points. That was it for now. I hope that all the teachers will benefit from this uh, particular video and it will help them out uh, while teaching poetry in their respective classes. I hope you like my video. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and turn on the bell icon so that you can watch more and more upcoming videos of mine. Thank you so much.